Hi, Joel MD here, also known as Dr. Bones of the survival medicine website doomandbloom.net with over a thousand articles, podcasts, and videos on medical preparedness. Together with my wife, Amy Alden, an advanced registered nurse practitioner, we're the authors of the Survival Medicine Handbooks 3rd Edition, Alton's Antibiotics and Infectious Disease, The Layman's Guide, and the designers of an entire line of medical kits at store.doomandbloom.net. It's probably a good idea for the medically prepared family to have face masks in their medical storage. Now there are face masks though, and then there are face masks. And I want people not to be confused about what they're getting when they buy a particular one. Respirator masks like the N95 and surgical masks are two different types of personal protection equipment. A surgical mask is not a respirator, and that's important for you to know. What is a respirator? A respirator is a type of personal protection equipment meant to reduce exposure to airborne contaminants. They're available in all sorts of different types and sizes, and they're meant to provide a tight seal. The N95 respirator is supposed to block 95% of airborne particles that are over 0.3 microns in size. Now let's say that this circle that I drew here is a human hair cut in cross section. It's the size of a small plate. A micron would be a grain of salt on this plate. And the N95 blocks 95% of particles that are a third of the size of that grain of salt. The N95 only works with a proper seal, so it must fit tightly and not allow particles in or out. By having a tight seal, it forces air coming in to go through the filter material of the mask. Check out my mask video, by the way, Face Mask Part 2, to see how to perform a proper fit test. N95 masks must be approved by the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, or NIOSH. It will say NIOSH somewhere on the mask, right here in this case, and right here in this case. What is a regular face mask then? The FDA defines it as a loose-fitting, disposable device that creates a physical barrier between the mouth and nose of the wearer and the potential contaminants in the immediate environment. Face masks may be labeled as surgical masks, isolation masks, dental masks, or even medical procedure masks. If worn properly, a face mask is meant to help block large particle droplets, splashes, sprays and splatter, things that may contain germs, viruses and bacteria, keeping it from reaching your nose and mouth. Face masks may also help reduce exposure of your saliva and respiratory secretions to others. Now that's great, but face masks aren't meant to seal tightly against your face. That means small airborne particles can easily be inhaled through the top, bottom side of the mask. They do not provide respiratory protection like the N95. That doesn't mean that they aren't good masks. They must still be approved by the Food and Drug Administration, which tests them to assure that they resist splashes of blood or other bodily fluids. They just don't filter out microscopic airborne particles. These are the masks that the sick person should be wearing in the sick room. It's important to know that neither the N95 nor the surgical mask protects your eyes, a favorite target for airborne viral particles. For this, you need a face shield or goggles. Here's a set of goggles, and here is a typical face shield. The goggles should be indirectly vented, that is, not have holes on the side like some do that are used for non-medical purposes. If you need the protection of both the face mask and a respirator, there are indeed surgical N95 respirators. These provide protection from both airborne particles and body fluids. These must be approved by both NIOSH and the FDA. For the type of infectious disease like we're seeing with COVID-19, a standard N95 is a reasonable choice for the caregiver and a surgical mask will work for use by the patient. This is Joe Alton, MD, that old Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health in good times or bad. Thanks for watching. If you're concerned, by the way, about epidemic disease, please check out Nurse Amy's Pandemic Supplies and Kits, just a part of her entire line at her store at store.doomandbloom.net. That's store.doomandbloom.net. You'll be glad you did.